The time is a minute after last time. Sarah, uh, not Sarah. Yuri's coming to my house. Yuri's coming to my house. I can't wait to get it on. It's already Sunday, but I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yeah, you fucking love her. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when she's, it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She is extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't before long that I was already learning about more, more about her. Putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early on the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between that and what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri your comes over. That's a good idea, because I'm concerned for her as well. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done it in the past. Why not Sayori, Sayori? I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made a habit of entering each other's houses as if we were family. There's something I can never do. Lost music. Black. Green. Oh, and everything that's coming up to has 100% foreshadowed death. Don't ruin my afternoon with Yuri. I was worried I was going to come into a dead person. Game has set the flags for it. Hi, Griffin. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell her that she's different. Then it, there's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? It's messy as it has always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for a few years now. <laughs> if you came more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayuri has already left by the time we had decided that on last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about festival preparations, right? Uh, yeah, that's true. But what about you? Are you going to help bring Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and you then. Yep. There's more silence. Sayuri stares into a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you're doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, so... She smiles, shaking her head. That's not good, Griffin. Eh. Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings... She hit her... Oh, sorry, honey. If I didn't make it, that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been even thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment. Oh my god, no. Oh god, you're so depressed. I'm getting pun- No! Yeah, yeah, oh god, she's- She thinks that everything that happens, like, if she does, ever does something for herself as being selfish, it's- it's not. Oh boy. I swear the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Yeah. That style of line makes me think that she didn't want to see anybody because she was going to kill herself. I've known that feeling myself. There is no way. That's not what they're implying. Eh. Sayori. Power on the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. No, I think she's been like this always. She was good at hiding it. And then she broke down because she realized I had fallen in love with somebody. And she loved me. But she doesn't realize that I... 
She loves me. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, uh, empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Griffin. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Yeah, I was right. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Griffin? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late for school every day? I'll find the will to get out of bed. What reason is there for you to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy into caring to waste by having them spend time it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just wanted to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I could tell. But you've lived her life with you. I can't figure out her spot. How is it possible that people can hide depression really well? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really how it works. Why? Uh, why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed, been betrayed as your close friend. But if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's so much I can do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. And all you had to do was tell me. You don't understand it all, Griffin. You know anything I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you you would waste you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. No. Oh, poor child. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Whoa, this is bad. If you can laugh and smile, she's she's far gone. That's why I wanted you so badly to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone get happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. Yeah, you're in love with me, but you can't understand your feelings because you've locked them away so far inside because you always feel depressed. It's your explanation. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every single path leads to nothing but hurt. You're right that I don't understand. I, I do. I understand how she got to there. The psychological aspects. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Griffin, there is nothing. Yeah, that's how you feel trapped. The only way I could ever scream and help if everything was like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Oh, honey. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. No! by my heart for hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. Now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. So I'm going to accept these punishments because I deserve every last one. No, 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 no. That's how you end up getting yourself killed. Without thinking, I want to grab, grab Sire's shoulders. This time I pulled her into a tight embrace. Yeah, that helps, but it won't. Ah, uh, Griffin. Sorry. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. Yet yeah, here's the problem. Because of everything she said, she, basically the way out of her depression is the only way to end with a happy note on her. I can tell. As a character. Because essentially I, I'm obviously ending up choosing one person. And that's how it works. Um, except I can't choose Monica, which makes me think Monica's like really scary um but she happy ending with her be you have to truly love her i have a feeling i'm gonna have to be like i'm gonna get given the decision do you love me i make friends with everyone else then that's just a bonus but you never underestimate how much i care for you i wouldn't have it any other way griffin sire isn't hugging me back despite her arms being my arms being wrapped around her she her arms remain at her sides she starts sobbing no don't do this to me. Please don't do this, Griffin. I... She barely managed to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. There is no right thing.
speaking from having been in that position. Kind of. I know there is no right thing. That's the only way you can manage. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in yourself to call yourself selfish, then let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's nothing you can, you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'd get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Griffin. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. No, that's because you've locked everything else away. But your hugs are so warm, and that's what really scary too. Let's go. Uh, as she let's go, I do as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yes. It's going to be fun, right? Yes. How would you like to spend me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice, though. Yeah. She wipes the tears from her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of course, on all days, it has to be the one that I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. That that would make her feel really bad. Uh, please don't. If you did that, I wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for me to Yuri anyway. For the very least, do you want to help come along and help out? So, here's the issue here. Well, no, that not not the issue. That needs to happen. I actually, in all honesty, wouldn't let her out of my sight at this point. I would text Yuri. Um, personally, I would text Yuri and say, I'm pretty sure Sayori is going to try to kill herself today. She's. I'm forcing her to come and help so that she does. I don't let her out of my sight. Is that okay? It would be fun. To my surprise, she shakes her head no. That's exactly what you do. I'm sorry, I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? No. I understand why. But you shouldn't. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I'll look forward to it. I'm going to walk into her house tomorrow to her dead, for sure. That's the end of it. Unless there is one more interaction at the end of the day. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. I still find myself uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is clearly going over... I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, as we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. She might not make it to tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Rock. Wrong. That is absolutely Wrong. proved over and over again. Wrong. He actually asked...